Welcome back to the Wreckers Rents Garage. It has been a year since I actually have worked on anything. I got the Ranger on the operating table, ready to get some deconstruction going on it. Over the last year, I changed careers. I moved states, built this new shop, and now kind of we're getting into our first major project. I'm entertaining some new projects here in the future, uh, but as you guys know, the used vehicle market, even for uh, crap boxes like what we would usually build, um, people are crazy right now and think they're all worth a lot of gold. I got a lot of work to do on the Ranger. Last time we saw it, I just finished working on the internal cage and I never quite buttoned all that up. I also need to transition the internal cage that I put together to the back end. I have the front shocks removed and we are sitting on the bump stops up front. Back here, I have us on two adjustable tripod jacks and I have the rear axle at full bump. So since some things I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to cut off a lot of the, well, all of the existing tube work and I'm going to make a cut off on that frame. Um, I'm kind of tired of working around the factory frame and this is like three different versions of my truck. So I got the factory frame, then I have this square tubing and that's whenever I had a flatbed on it uh, in one of my very first tube beds I made. Then I kind of transitioned into the XO and then the bypass uh, tube work and it's kind of like I said, three different variations of my truck cobbled together. Um, so I need to kind of cut a lot of this off and start over. We got a lot of work ahead of us. I think I'm gonna call this episode, the Texas Sawzall Massacre. So the first part of this back half, I have some tubes from TE Design still from when I did this interior cage. There's a down tube, some side tubes, um, and some other basic connections. And from there, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna build, a bend, notch, everything else kind of to my plans. Um, first part, I uh, put a hole in the cab here on each side so I could connect a tube to the interior cage. And then on these upper feed throughs that I already had, um, I just put a, a piece of tubing in there, just some one and three quarter, and I drilled a half inch rosette hole, one here, and there's gonna be one on the other side to uh, really lock in this connection. I want this to be really strong just because if anything ever happens, all the, for like in a frontward type of uh, force on the roof, it's gonna transfer that force back, and my shocks are gonna connect uh, to this tube that runs this way, so. I want this to be good and strong. Um, that's why, you know, I got this connection tube. We'll throw these easy tubes together. These are some cheater tubes and then we'll get to bending.
little update. As you guys saw, I had a bunch of tubes kind of tacked up in place. Those were my cheater tubes. I didn't really like them because the back pillars that came down, it was about probably a foot behind the axle and I've actually shortened the wheelbase on this truck, I think about seven or eight inches. So it wasn't really lining up how I wanted it to and it gave me a good idea of how I wanted to build it visually, but then I took them all off. Um, that's why everything's been tacked on. But So I'm resetting here. I have this tube that it, I centered it, I notched it, and I have some uh, bump stop cans well this tacked in the uh, outboard parts of it that will make contact with the axle. I'm going to build everything off of this tube in the back here, and it's tacked in place exactly where I want it. And I'm going to connect it to the frame. I cut some angled uh, two inch and I plated the frame just a little bit on the top and bottom. And these are just going to slide in right there. And I will weld those in. And then I'm going to have a tube that goes from here on the frame to this tube on each side to connect it. And then I'll probably do another connecting tube uh, somewhere kind of along that design right there. I'll kind of figure that out as I go. Um, but I'm going to start here on this back tube, connect it to the frame, and then I'll do new down bars that will go from the top to here, and this will be one center tube that's going to be a strong node. The fuel I'm going to put here is still going to be in a good location. Um, it just won't have as much leverage on the suspension uh, since it's a little bit further forward. But I think that's going to be alright. I'll have the spare tire and a trunk back behind the axle, so I think that will work out good. So I'm going to start tagging some more tubes on here and we'll see how it turns out. Got my next tube here ready to go that I'm going to put in. On the end that's going to connect to the frame, I did an offset. 10 degree notch, not sure if you guys can see that or not. But I offset it um, in board just a little bit so that way this it wouldn't have an ear in between the frame and that tube. Um, so with it offset in board, it will give me uh, easier access to fully weld the entire tube um, on this connection right here. And then this end's just a straight 90. So it will slide in just as such.
So basically what I'm doing, trying to figure out the angle that this tube's gonna go from here up to this node up here. And so I got my angle finder on there. I'm gonna make this notch first, and then this is just gonna be another uh, slightly offset notch, and that's going to a 90 tube. So that one's relatively straightforward once I figure out this end of it. One thing with tube work is, I have no issues cutting and bending and that stuff. I'm fairly accurate with that. What makes me nervous is making notches, especially when they get kind of weird. When you get different angles and uh, you know you got tubes coming in multiple directions, that's when I get nervous when I'm uh, notching tube because you know you're a dury or two off or a quarter inch off, and you just trash your whole tube. And tube is expensive. So one thing I always do when I get into weird notches like this is. I have a big scrap pile of tubing, and, you know, little remnants of cuts, and make practice notch. So I had one with a 90 already in it, and I did a 50, uh, 52 degree notch, and it's about a degree or two off, but it fits really nice. So I'll just do the next notch on the final tube. I'll add a degree or two back into that notch to really get it dialed in right where I want it. And, um, yeah. So, little tip there, use your scrap tube, your remnants, uh, it'll save you in the long run. Like a glove. That's pretty nice. Might touch it up just a little bit with the uh, flap wheel there, but... This one's not going to be fun to notch at all when I get to that point. I was out here burning the midnight oil kind of late last night getting this tube kind of exactly how I want it. and. It's in place right now. This isn't tacked in, this isn't tacked in. These aren't notched, obviously, or anything like that. So my next step is going to be to mirror this tube over for the driver's side, which should go relatively uh, quicker since I already have all the measurements and angles and the notches actually are still set up. So that's one beauty about building symmetrical. Start on one side, get it squared away, and then you can just flip it over to the other side. And I'm accurate, probably within a 16th of an inch usually, so it's pretty easy to transfer that stuff over from passenger to driver's side. I'm gonna cut it here for this episode. It's taken me a little bit longer to get to this point than typical just because um, I did tack some things up, cut it off and kind of start over at that point. And this is the foundation. So I'm very meticulous about where everything's going and how I'm planning it. And I've spent probably hours just kind of out here staring at it, throwing tape on it and, and looking at where I want things to go. So. I'm at a really good point right now where I could pick up some steam and move forward, but I'm gonna cut it here so I can get an episode out for you guys. And on the next one, we'll be getting that driver's side tube in. You guys saw me blast some more holes in the ship and there's gonna be a pass through right here going to the C pillar brace and then a, a cross tube. I'll build the tubes that the, will go from these cutouts to this node back here get these notched up on the uprights, and I should be able to um, start kind of getting more final welds in and getting some of the lacing and cross bracing set up in this part. Um, I am gonna get some fenders on the back, and once I do those, get those mounted up, I will be able to build the trunk portion and the tire carrier portion. So I'm looking forward to that part. It's gonna be really fun for me at least uh, <laughs> um, going forward, but Hey, if you guys have any questions about how I'm building certain things or why I'm doing it a certain way, drop it down in the comments. I appreciate y'all being here, hanging out in the shop. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, stay reckless. <laughs>